Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ross programming series. In the previous lecture of this series, I explained important characteristics of Ross, along with the history of Ross. In today's lecture, I will tell you, how can we install Ross Noetic on our Linux operating system. I have created a PDF file on the complete installation guide of Ross. To download this file, go to my Git repository and download the zip file. You will find a link to the Git repository in the video description below. Click on the downloaded zip file and extract all existing files. After extracting, open the file name, Ross Noetic Installation Guide, with your favorite PDF reader. There are different ROS versions for different Ubuntu versions. Carefully select your ROS version for installing ROS on your Linux operating system. Rec now, open a terminal in your Linux operating system. Then, follow all the steps along with me. Open your Linux terminal by pressing the Ctrl Alt T key, and wait for the terminal to open. Before running the installation steps on the terminal, run sudo apt get update, then enter your Linux password. After that, run the sudo apt get upgrade and wait for a few minutes to complete the upgrade. The speed of the upgrade depends on your system. So, don't worry if your system takes more time than my system. Now move to step 1 of the installations, and source the list by copying the code from the PDF file, and pasting it into the terminal by using the Ctrl Shift V key. Press Enter. After that, move to step 2 to install the setting keys for ROS. Copy the code, and paste it into the terminal. If you are following everything, then you will see OK on the terminal window. Now, run sudo apt get update. And sudo apt get upgrade again. When you are finished with the upgrade, type sudo apt install rosnoetic desktop full, or copy it from the PDF file. Run it by pressing enter. This will start the installation of ROS on your operating system. Installation of ROS will take some time to finish. I am going to skip the video, and will come back after the installation is finished. Welcome back. I hope, you didn't face any problems during the installation. If you face any, then ask me in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to help you with that. Now, we need to set the environment for working with ROS. For this, open the .bashrc file with a text editor using the following command. After opening it with a text editor, copy the path from the PDF file, and paste it at the end of the .bashrc file. Save the file, and source the .bashrc file into the terminal window. Move to step 5, and copy the code into the terminal window. This will install the required dependencies and tools for working with ROS. After this, initialize the ROS step package. Installation of ROS is finished. Run the ROS core command. If you see a window like this, then congratulations. You have successfully installed ROS on your operating system. Press Ctrl C to exit the ROS environment. Always, source.bashrc file before running the ROS core command. If you have any questions related to the lecture, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If this video helps you, then like, subscribe, and share with others. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.